In 1953, American biologists Matthew Messelson and Franklin Stahl devised an experiment to determine which replication model was correct. They grew cells of the bacterium E. coli in the presence of a heavy nitrogen isotope. The heavy nitrogen was incorporated into the bacterial DNA during replication. Next, they switched the bacteria to media containing a lighter nitrogen isotope. Since bacteria divide about once every 20 minutes, the first round of replication was complete after 20 minutes, and any newly synthesized DNA was made with the lighter nitrogen. After 40 minutes, the second round of replication was complete. To determine which nitrogen isotopes each double-stranded DNA molecule contained, they extracted the DNA from the bacteria and separated the DNA molecules by density. DNA made with only the lighter nitrogen isotope stayed near the top of the liquid, while DNA with only the heavier nitrogen isotope went to the bottom. DNA molecules containing some of each type of nitrogen ended up in the middle. The DNA extracted after 20 minutes was of intermediate density. Which model do the results rule out? Click Submit to see if you're correct. Sorry, that's not right. The conservative model predicts that the first round of replication will yield the original DNA composed of only heavy nitrogen and a new DNA molecule composed of only light nitrogen. If this model were correct, Messelson and Stahl would have seen a band for the heavy DNA and a band for the light DNA. Since they saw one DNA band of intermediate density, the conservative model cannot be correct. The DNA extracted after 40 minutes had a light band of DNA and a band of intermediate density. Select the replication model supported by the data. Click Submit to see if you're correct. That's correct! The dispersive model predicts that each DNA strand will be a mixture of heavy and light and that all of the DNA molecules will have roughly the same density. The semi-conservative model predicts that the second round of replication will yield two DNA molecules composed of only light nitrogen and two molecules composed of one heavy and one light strand. Since Messelson and Stahl got one band corresponding to the light DNA only and one band for the combination of heavy and light, the semi-conservative model is correct.